Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. Notre Dame, a team where they play a bunch of fighting Irishmen on the field, man. And uh, ever since my Falcons rebuild, tell you what, man. People keep asking me for this god-awful John Gruden impression. But, uh, even though I can't do one of those real well, there is one thing I can. And that's play a little bit of NCAA 14, man. I got my quarterback. Oh, and he's a good one. Colby Spencer. Junior college transfer playing for the Ozark State Outlaws. And... I'll tell you what, man. He just might be the best quarterback I ever seen, man. We are back on the Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty. And I am super excited. It is the rematch of the century. After the upset of the century. As I believe I said in the last video. Maybe the biggest upset of all time. But this time, it's going to be a little bit different. This Ozark State Outlaws team is unlike any we've seen in the past. 79 overall as a unit. 81 offense, 80 defense. I don't know how the numbers work on that. They don't match up, but it's all right. Because today, Notre Dame's not going to stand much of a chance. Maybe they will. They probably will. They're a good team. They're ranked number one in the nation for a reason. They're a 99 overall. The question on everybody's mind, can we walk in to South Bend, Indiana, and beat the Notre Dame Fighting Irish for a second straight year? Well, we're going to find out. Notre Dame has Sam Mustafer at center, Equinemius St. Brown, and Josh Adams as their running back. And of course, Devin White, Colby Spencer, and tight end Jake Rodriguez make up our top three. No real notable injuries for the Fighting Irish. And it is a beautiful afternoon evening ish here in south bend it is a packed house as i'm sure you would expect as this is the most highly anticipated game in ozark state history as once again you can see the big group of ozark state fans that actually traveled back to south bend to see hopefully magic happen again lightning strike twice and hopefully it does Hopefully it does. Starting things off with a run to Scott Lewis. There's a juke near first down. A lot of people want to see the running back Scott Lewis get more involved. And I do like to do that. I know the offense has revolved a lot around Colby Spencer. But when you're playing teams that shut down base runs, like a lot of the teams that we played have, I've been trying to get a little bit more creative with the way that we actually run the ball. So we've seen a lot of read options and things like that. They blitz in that safety. That's going to be open. Omar Williams. I'll take the first down. The true freshman out of Bell Chase, Louisiana. Picks up the first. His first catch of the game. And there's Hunter Register picking up a first down. Back-to-back -back throws go for first down. As we have two new players to the Ozark State program. But while Hunter Register was here last year, he obviously didn't play as he was a transfer out of Minnesota, if you are new to the series or didn't remember that, that's where he is from. And then, of course, Rob Gaither and Roland Francisco, if you watched any of Season 2, uh, should be familiar names. As we're just going to duck out with Colby Spencer. Third and eight now. Come on, somebody get open. That slant's going to be open, and it's not even close. Colby Spencer under pressure. Can't deliver the pass where it needs to be. And we will try a 49-yard field goal with number 69, Pete Riley. There is no wind. Kick is up and sneaks through. That is a 45-yard plus field goal, apparently. I think it was, what, 49? And good. 46, 49, something like that. 3 nothing Ozark State. Not the start we wanted, but it's good to put points up on the board. And now that we actually have a competent defense... We'll see if they can stop this Notre Dame offense. I think they're going to try and be very run-centric today. Their quarterback is number seven, so that's probably Brandon Wimbush. We saw somebody different last year. 
And Wimbush under pressure. Pass falls incomplete. Is that number 30, Jeff Fisher on the inside blitz? Or he would have been coming off the edge in that. Great play. No, that wasn't. He was. He would have been in coverage because we're running the same exact blitz here. Second and ten. I almost want to change it. And they're going to the flat. It's intercepted. Route jump by Derek Higgins. And Derek Higgins has a pick six. Oh my God. Played the hard flats. And it worked out perfectly. What is Brandon Wimbush doing? Throwing it right to Derek Higgins. And the defense has done exactly what we needed them to do. Not only picking up a stop, but getting points. 10-0 Ozark State over Notre Dame. As this rematch is not going the way Notre Dame expected. Ozark State looking to upset again. I know it's early. I know it's really early. But we kind of had Notre Dame's number all last season in that game. We had their number in that game. They didn't look very good. They didn't score a lot of points. And we already have 10 here in the first few minutes. Now, we're not going to celebrate early. It's the first quarter. But, man, is this a good start. And now I feel like it makes it even better that Notre Dame is ranked at number one. Because this upset means a lot more. I know we're undefeated. We beat UAB in kind of a weird game. But this would be a huge win, obviously, for the program. As they're going to duck it over the middle. Sandoval Slaughter can't catch up to him. That's Equinemius St. Brown. Actually, that's Miles Boykin. Excuse me. Equinemius wears... Uh, he's he's number, wearing number 8. Not 80. Or 6. Not 81. My bad. Wimbush going outside. Higgin this time is beat by Boykin. All right, he got off to a great start, so we're not going to complain about anything he does for the rest of the game. I can't promise that, actually. Over the middle, Boykin again. He breaks a tackle, beat the zone. Trying to cover too many things. It's a read option. Please play that. Jeff Fisher, way to wrap up. Wimbush only gains one. We're going to dial up the heat. And it is going to be an option. Wimbush has nowhere to go. That's Deontay McKee on the left end wrapping up. Big tackle for loss. Wimbush just can't quite get to the pitch there. Josh Adams, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm not complaining, though. All right, big looping blitz here. It's third and 13. Let's just not get beat. It's a screen, and that is shut down. Adams goes down in the backfield. That is a big tackle. And the Ozark State defense is looking fantastic. That was number 17. Making the nice play. And it looks like Notre Dame going to settle for the field goal try. Assume this is going to be good. Making it 10-7. We still have a touchdown lead. Obviously need the offense to come back out and score some points. Kick is certainly good. 10-3. Still a 7-point lead. Half the first quarter is gone. 17 is actually Clinton McKeon. That is the brother of Deontay McKeon. Kind of an underhyped storyline in this dynasty. But it does exist. Probably because Clinton McKeon does not start. And this is Deontay McKeon's first year starting. But they are brothers. They are on the team. And they are okay. Deontay McKeon is the starter at left end. Third and three. This is actually a pretty big play. I'm not sure what we would do if we didn't get this. We're going to get it, though. Scott Lewis open, and he's fast, and he makes a juke. Nice way to make a man miss. 29-yard pickup on the rollout to the right. Toss to the running back. Way to work up field from the, the halfback there, Scott Lewis. It's open. Ryan Muller. I know some people, Mueller, no it's not, We've I've had many interviews, talks with Ryan Muller, and he tells me, yeah, I don't know what those guys in the comment section are talking about, all they do is complain about, uh, about my last name, and they don't even get it right, so yeah. <laughs> Rolling out, dumping it off, Scott Lewis, he's just so fast, 
He probably would have been tackled as soon as he got the ball if he had, you know, any less speed. But no, he is, he is a burner. We're going to step up with Colby Spencer. Give me a block. Come on, man. Kedrick Cunningham has no idea what to do. Rolling out. Colby Spencer's fast. He's really fast. I need a block there. End zone. No, Spencer fumbled on the goal line. It's recovered by Jerry Tillery. Oh, my God. We had the opportunity to slide, but we thought we could get the end zone. And Colby Spencer coughs up the football at the goal line. Oh, no. Really unfortunate that that just happened. Really, really unfortunate. As Miles Boykin is proving to be a big problem. He's the only guy that Wimbush wants to throw to. And Derek Higgins played great the first play of the game. And it looks like since then he has no idea what to do. Wimbush trying to escape. Bring him down in the backfield. Thank you. And that's Devin White. Way to contain. Way to hold your ground. We got interior pressure almost immediately. That's number 10. Albert Johnson. That's a nice play, but I mean, you just got to wrap up there, huh? It's going to be a run. That's going to be shut down. Great play by Devin White to hold him to two. This offense can't get anything going. Unless it's to Miles Boykin, in which case, yeah, they, they can. But it's third and 11. Wish we had an option here where we could play the sticks. Let's press. Play over the middle. Get up there, Outlaw. Come on, man. You gave it to him easy. Josh Adams picks up the first. It's a screen. Let me get over there. Come on, man. There we go. Good tackle, at least, to hold it to a loss. And that is the end of the first quarter. Still a close game. We weren't able to capitalize. Turnover on the goal line killed us. Because that would have been probably... Um, I assume we'd get the touchdown had he not fumbled. He might not have been uh, in. So I don't. he might have been, you know, held to a field goal or something. Uh, and that's a good tackle. Pass goes to CJ Sanders. But we would be up right now 17-3 to more than likely. Instead, Notre Dame has the ball. Entering... Ozark territory. They're already in, in fact. And they have a chance to make this a tie ball game at 10-10. And they're running something short to the running back. You need to wrap up. Get over there. Albert Johnson. First down saving tackle that keeps Notre Dame out of field goal range. And we'll see if they go for it on fourth and four. Looks like Wimbush is walking off the field. Notre Dame will punt. And we've managed to dodge a bullet there. The question is now, can we work it back down to the field to where we were? And they're going to fake it. They're going to fake it. Oh, my goodness. It falls incomplete. We got good field positioning now. Tyler Newsom, the puncher trying to throw a pass there. The, the fullback, where'd that go to? Was that... I think that was to the punter. Yeah, not a great throw. No, Nothing got open, though. We played it well. Kobe Spencer, show off the wheels. Let's just step out of bounds, please. Not trying to have him get injured this game. Shout out to Jesus there, looking over our team in the top left. I, knew, I know what you're thinking. Oh, they're here for Notre Dame. Well, who needs him, all right? We got Colby Spencer. He basically is Jesus. That's got to be open. That's intercepted, actually. Um, that is, what, Drew Tranquil? I thought we had separation. Uh, clearly not. There's a bad pass or something. Either way, we give the ball right back to Notre Dame. Did we not have separation there? I don't know. That's wide open. Guess who? Miles Boykin. Is anyone surprised? Oh, no? No one at all? Okay. It's only his fifth catch in his 83rd yard here in the first half. He's on pace to have a monster day of 160 plus yards. And that is wide open in the flat. We just had no one covering it. And Chase breaks a tackle. Kevin Steverson, Chase. Chris Chase, the cornerback, who uh, had the tackle broken, I should have said. Steverson. I don't like that name. Just be Stevenson. Why you got to be weird? As Wimbush going to slide? He's extremely fast, it looks like, on that one. Second and goal. Time for more blitz action. I'm going to use her Mike Lee. Hopefully, we can get a user pick. 
We're in man coverage. Wimbush taking off, and he is wrapped up behind the line. Losing four, that's Deontay McKeon making another big play for us. Last year at Notre Dame, it was Sandoval Slaughter making the big plays. This time, it's the other defensive end, Deontay McKeon, who didn't really see the game uh, last year. As we need to wrap up, Mike Lee forces him out of bounds. Big tackle. Kind of. I know he broke it, but he forced him out of bounds. Saving a touchdown. Notre Dame going to settle for a field goal. Wimbush has only missed two passes today. One of them obviously being the difference in this game as it went for a touchdown. But Notre Dame likely going to tie it, and they do. Ian Book on the hold, and it is 10-6 in favor of the Ozark State Outlaws. Still have a decent lead. Field goal doesn't tie it. Notre Dame with six points on three, uh, excuse me, two field goals. Uh, three points apiece, obviously. And we need to score. We need to get back in the end zone, preferably. These two turnovers have really hurt, and we're lucky that our defense is held strong. Oh, they played the screen so well. And I'm tired of these late hits on Colby Spencer. Let me ask you guys, do you like the restraint there? Maybe the old Bengal just would have thrown it without looking to see how they played uh, the screen. But you know what, this one, who doesn't see B wide open on the right side, I know. I did see it. Um, I saw it too late. <laughs> Otherwise, it, Rob Gaither was wide open, and I probably would have thrown to him. Or Hunter Register, I think it was Rob Gaither, actually, but... I don't know. Wide open! Spencer! Just gets it off. It's tipped at the line. Caught by Omar Williams, who loses four. We had a touchdown with Jake Rodriguez. We were just waiting for it to get open. It just did. And unfortunately, the Notre Dame defensive line closed in quick. They're blitzing. That's wide open. It's a tight end. Rodriguez trying to use some power. We pick up six. And it will be third and eight. No way you can cover that. Jake Rodriguez is going to crush it. They've run this like looping blitz several times. Wide open is register. And I guess he didn't register with the Notre Dame defense that they left him wide open. Big first down. I've seen them run that looping blitz a few times now. Seems to be a favorite of theirs. And it works pretty well. Coverage obviously uh, leaves a bit to be desired as we're gonna throw the lob slant. Not exactly what we wanted on that one. We had two streaks down the right side, but the safety covered both of them because they were just too close, so I didn't want to risk it, obviously. Kedrick Cunningham in the game. That's a looping blitz. They've done that several times as Kedrick Cunningham has some room. It's a looping blitz where the free safety comes down. It's a free safety blitz. You see the loop from the left defensive end. It usually leaves the curl wide open, but it looked like it was covered pretty well that time. Didn't want to risk it. The dump off to Cunningham. Clearly the correct decision as the read option seemed to be the right call. But they played it really well. Second and 13. That's an interception to Barajas. Come on, man. It's these red zone turnovers. It's happened three times now. Feels like a flashback to last game. You expect something to be open. You expect them to play a certain way and they don't. And it has crushed us. My mistakes have been killing us. Or they should be. Our defense has played well, and we've been lucky for that. Devin White gets taken out. Adams reversing field, picks up seven. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing when we play well on offense, and then I can't finish these drives. It really, really is. Gotta play better than that. We gotta be better, Outlaws. White in the backfield, big hit! Sit down, boy! Devin White introduces himself to Josh Adams. Nice to meet you. Third and seven. A minute and a half to go. We could get the football back here with a stop. We're playing cover two sink. The safeties, I wish, were wider out. I don't know how I can adjust them. Maybe some of that action. And it looks like it's going to be a check down. It is. Weiser steps out of bounds. And will Notre Dame punt? I think they should here. Fourth and one from their own 35. They will. We're going to have time. None of our turnovers have hurt us, really. That's incredible. This time it is a real punt. Come on, Kedrick. Give us good field positioning. Duke doesn't even register. Sick. A minute and four seconds to get down the field. 
We have some really, really good quick strike receivers. We're going to go back across our body to the running back, and they knock it down at the line. The speed of this Notre Dame team really shuts down the rollout option offense. But that is open. Omar Williams had to step up there. We'll be third and two. We're going to move into the hurry up. We do have three timeouts. Will you hurry up, please? I don't want to watch animations. I want to get back to the line and expose what we saw in the defense. And we're going to do just that. Perfect strike over the head of the entire Notre Dame linebacking core. It's Hunter Register on the post. 34 seconds. Clock is going to start moving. We do have three timeouts. We're not going to call one quite just yet. Or just quite yet. Don't want to do anything. Spencer. Space. Sliding. I've learned my lesson. Timeout number one. Lewis wide open. Oh no. I wanted to spin back. He didn't spin. But it is a first down. We call their second timeout. That's Scott Lewis's third catch already. That's how we get him involved. A lot of people want him to get the ball more often on uh, run plays, and I do understand that. We definitely are going to try to do that more often. But he is so effective as a pass catcher. It's a such big play potential. As we're going to roll out, throw that ball. I'm holding Y. Please give me an animation. That's a Hunter Register touchdown. And, of course, we're moving into the hurry up because I was holding Y. Are right, we going to slant that? Muller is going to come in motion. Jake Rodriguez, hopefully... We'll have a touchdown. I don't want to throw that. I don't want to throw it. We're going to dump it off. O'Brien, who are you? Third and goal. Five seconds to play. We don't get the ball. We're going to try, uh, try just a quick strike. We're going to try an inside slant. If the inside slant is there, we're going to throw it. If not, I'm going to throw it away. Rob Gaither, touchdown. Let's go, baby. Omar Williams with the first read. And why would he be? We have the most reliable receiver in college football. Rob Gaither beats his man in front of the end zone. Works back up and in in front of four or five Notre Dame defenders. That touchdown means so much at the end of the half. The field goal there would have been good. But the touchdown is incredible. 17-6, big first half. All right, good half of football. This kind of played similar to last year, and I know turnovers have been too much. Too many turnovers so far, and it has been bad, but you have to remark at how well the defense has played. It's been fantastic, and you got to wonder, how is this Notre Dame team still ranked at number one? I thought we taught them a lesson last year, but it looks like they keep winning games, and now with an even better Ozark State team. We can wrap this up here in the second half as Colt Nash trying to pursue. Fisher can't. Josh Adams picks up one. We got it. Two quarters. One half. That's all we need to do. Shut him down. And we're going to have an even bigger upset than last year, maybe. I don't know. Would it be? I know they're number one now. It's so like ranking-wise, yeah. But also, we were way worse last year. And they were still a top 10 team. I don't know. Third and two. It's read option, and Wimbush has some space. Devin Robeson ends up making the tackle, but he picks up 11 and a fresh set of downs. They're moving into the hurry up as well. I think we've been most effective when we blitz the hell out of them. So expect me to experiment with a lot more of that here in the second half. If someone else is going to take them. We're on the running back. And that's going to the flat. Mike Lee is there. They still pick up three. To run. Devin White, big tackle. Josh Adams still picks up four, but stopped a lot of what could have been bad there. And we are going to hopefully get the safeties out to run. Oh, it's read option. Oh, what a play. We got to play option quarterback and then try to shut down Josh Adams. Because honestly, I think Wimbush is a more dangerous runner. So we are going to play, um, hold on. We're going to play the quarterback. We're also playing zone depth shallow to try and go for some of these uh, short interceptions because they're throwing the ball short a lot. And I'm not really worried, jeez, about a lot of these uh, these short completions. 
because I think they all could be turnovers, and I'm, I don't want them to just nickel and dime down the field. And I'm really not worried about them taking the top off the defense. They did last year to start the game. They had Torrey Hunter Jr. Uh, as Devin White wraps up, Josh Adams is just too strong. I don't think they're going to beat us over the top. We have good speed in the secondary. We really do now with Mike Lee, with Chris Outlaw, with Derek Higgins, with Chris Chase. We do have speed in the secondary. Devin Robeson is pretty fast. I don't think they're going to beat us over the top. I'm just really worried about the short stuff. Because they can just nickel and dime for four, five, six yards every time. And they'll score a touchdown. I don't want that. It's going to be a draw. That's a great play. Jeff Fisher and Devin Robeson combine for a fantastic effort to make Josh Adams lose some yards. Oh, this seems dangerous. It's a run, actually. And we wrap up. Dexter Williams picks up three, but that doesn't hurt us. It's going to be third and ten. We've been in these situations before. How do we stop Notre Dame from picking up the first down? That's the question. A Devin White user could help. I don't really know who to focus on here. White lobbing it up, and it's intercepted by the Outlaw. Chris Outlaw with a great play in the end zone to stop Notre Dame from scoring. We got the ball back. It's about time. Notre Dame going to challenge it? Are you out of your mind? You out of your mind? That's clear as day. Even though we're here at night. Of course it stands. Time to turn the tempo to conservative and start feeding the beast that is Scott Lewis. He's not going to run over you. He will run around you, though. Look at that juke. <laughs> Have you ever seen a prettier two yards? He is honestly Christian McCaffrey. That's what Scott Lewis is. He is Stanford Christian McCaffrey. We don't really use him on returns that often, but he is back there. And he just really has that make you miss ability. We can run him between the tackles as we do right here. And we're killing it. When our blocking's good, we're great. We're golden. Kedrick Cunningham is the fullback here. And we're going to hand the ball off to him. Pick up four. I'll take it. I want my running backs to be averaging like six to seven yards per carry. But, uh, you know, four yards, not, not terrible on first down. That's a blitz. Let's handle it. It's going to be Williams, and we step out of bounds. All right, Omar. Let's see how they play the read option. Hopefully, they play the halfback, and Colby Spencer has space. We're going to juke, and we're going to slide, slide. I'm spamming X. Oh my god, Colby. This is what made us lose the LSU game last year. Just go down when I tell you to. Please. We have a receiver. Wide open. It's Hunter Register. Jukes back inside. It has a 51-yard touchdown. Colby Spencer, Spencer threw heavy pressure. That's where I wanted to make that noise. Pressure, not Spencer. Delivers a strike. They had one defensive back trying to cover two receivers out there. They were too far apart, and it was an easy touchdown. Hunter Register, by the way, with the ball in his hands, really, really elusive. He came over with some ridiculously high agility stats. Juke, spin, elusiveness, agility. He is a really, really elusive player. We don't have him returning kicks because he just isn't fast enough, but if we have him in those situations, he's going to make you miss every time. And we are dominating the Notre Dame defense. It is 24 to 6. Did you, they even bother showing up for this game? Doesn't look like it. It's funny. Like, we'll play Notre Dame. And they don't really give us too much of a problem. But when we come out and we play these LSUs and even Houston, it's a specific type of defenses, or excuse me, specific, uh, specific type of offenses that we come up against with our defense that we just don't have an answer to. As Wimbush breaks a sack, pushes it out to Sanders, and Outlaw pushes him out of bounds. It will be third and six, but like the read option, the triple option, the scrambles. We have no answer for it, or at least we didn't last year. And now, again, Notre Dame, they don't really do any of that. They're just not good. It's crazy. Another just go to the flat, and they're not going to pick up anything. It's fourth and six. Wimbush is terrible. Yeah, I mean, we've just totally annihilated them. 135 more total yards. Their offense just hasn't done anything in back-to-back -back years, and you got to wonder. 
Is this coach gonna get fired soon? I know he isn't number one Notre Dame, so no. But still. And Rodriguez has put the ball on the ground. Wow. Love to see that. What are you doing? How do you fumble there? All right, well, we've been talking so much about this defense. Now they really have to come up and make a play. Wimbush gonna run. Couldn't wrap up there. I gotta stop switching on. He's just weaving, and I can't tackle him. Oh, they see subtle moves that are really, really tough for some reason. That's mine! No! And my controller disconnects. Oh, boy. That's how hard we play out here. Boykin picks up the first down, though, regardless. We're coming up to the end of the third quarter. And Notre Dame's starting to make me a bit nervous. I know the reason we're not, and it's because uh, Notre Dame's def our offensive line is so much better than our defensive line. But I wish we'd start getting a lot more natural pressure. As it looks like we're getting some. No one can wrap up, though. Wimbush gets sacked. He loses four. Devin White was the guy who ended up finishing it. Who got him first? That was Chris Outlaw. Deontay McKeon couldn't wrap up. Thank God for Devin White. And that is the end of the third quarter. Notre Dame, down by a lot, has seven minutes to get back in it. They're in prime position two right now. Third and five in the red zone. But we got to look to shut them down. They're going to the flat, and they don't pick it up. Weissair goes out of bounds. And it is fourth and two. What do you do if you're Notre Dame? I think you got to go for it here, and they are. Clock is ticking. And it is ticking in our favor. Fourth and two. We only have three down linemen. They're going to run the ball. And Devin White hits him first. Jeff Fisher came back around to wrap up. And it's Ozark State football. Come on, Scott. Yeah, just definitely don't fumble. Don't fumble the ball. That's all we need at this point is a fumble to kill us. I think we're going to start by just running the ball on first and second down every single time now. And just see what we can do. Scott Lewis! Disgusting! I'm sorry, but get Kedrick Cunningham out of the game, please. Get Scott Lewis back in. That's the beast. Look at these moves. Look at Scott Lewis. It's like a 10-yard run every time. Except for he's averaging 6 per carry. But do you guys get what I'm saying? Why do we not just run the ball every play? I know in the comments, this is what I'm saying. Just run the ball. Notre Dame has no answer for it. And I guess a lot of teams probably wouldn't. Scott Lewis is just good. If you're going to make the first man miss every time, I mean, you're going to have a pretty good thing going. And I, I, held, I held the button to hand it off, and he just didn't. And I did it early, too. Maybe I, too early? <laughs> I don't know. Six for seven on third down. This is an opportunity for us to really convert with a deep strike. We really could. We're just going to check down. Oh, my God, it's intercepted. Julian Love. The pass is not where it was supposed to be. And that is a pick six. That was the last thing we needed. I actually have a list, and it was the last thing on it of things we need. Brutal. Notre Dame right back in this game. Only going to be down by ten after they convert. Which, let's be honest, they probably will. Now, come on, don't, let's not think like that. Defense is going to clutch up. Defense going to clutch up. Big tackle. Mike Hitman Lee. I know, we're throwing away the game. This looks exactly like what happened at LSU. I know. You don't have to remind me. O'Brien on the recovery. The fullback. Three minutes. Let's end it, please. Should have just thrown it deep. Last time. Should have just thrown it deep. That pick six is really, really bad. Oh, there's an injury. Who went down? No. Tell me it wasn't Scott. There's Jake Rodriguez. Oh, who is the injured outlaw? Cunningham still in the game. That is not what you want to see. I also don't want to see Tim O'Brien out there. We're going to take a delay a game. Oh, no. It's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. Oh, it's okay. He just bruised his sternum. We're going to keep Kedrick Cunningham in the game. 
That probably means we run the ball a little bit less. It is third and 11. We're going to try and pick this thing up. Deep down the field. He just doesn't have the arm. God dang, Colby. You have like 93 throw power. How can you not throw it more than 30 yards in the air? That's terrible. I don't have enough time to perfect this punt. But it's still a pretty good one. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Inside the 20. We're sending heat. Get there. If they just check down for the rest of the game, they're going to lose. There's only two minutes left. Notre Dame is down by 12. They need two touchdowns in two minutes with one timeout. It is a, it is a lot to ask. I don't want that. Let's go cover three. And blitz with Slaughter. They're checking down. Devin White's there. Can't wrap up. Sandoval Slaughter does. Clock is going to stop momentarily. We need a pressure. We need a sack. We need to get to the quarterback. I don't like these shallow hook zones. They're checking down, though. Chris Chase is there to wrap up. That is great for the Outlaws. They didn't pick up the first. Clock keeps ticking. The play lasted a long time. And we are going to start running some man blitzes. I'm going to spike it. Third and eight. Minute 34 to play. Down by 12. Can number one Notre Dame do the impossible, it seems, which is stop the impossible. The upset. Again. Back to back seasons. We're blitzing with Mike Lee. Throwing on the run, somehow complete, off-balance, ridiculous throw from Wimbush. C.J. Sanders, the catch. How did that get completed? We're trying to get to the quarterback so badly because I know a sack really, really hurts their chances. And there it is, Sandoval Slaughter. Slaughters the left tackle, gets to Wimbush. And now here's where a lot of time starts ticking off the clock. A lot of time. They're setting up for the spike. And that's good for us. Third and 16. They're going one-on-one -on -one at me. No! What do you mean? I'm right there. How is that a touchdown? Oh, my God. We need to go into replay mode for this one. I know I'm in one-on-one I'm in -on -one coverage. I have to come up and make the play here. I'm playing good coverage. I'm right there. I don't even give him leverage to the front of the field. Did it go right through his hands? Oh my God, Mike. Oh my God. Also, it went through his body. It went, the ball went through his shoulder. And now Notre Dame has a chance. They're going to go for the onside. How do we allow that? It's recovered again. This time by Omar Williams. He takes a shot. And he holds on. 59 seconds. Notre Dame has one timeout. A first down ends the game. That's what we need. Well, pretty much anything ends the game. As long as we don't fumble the ball. The Ozark State Outlaws in back-to-back -back years have upset Notre Dame. This time, the Fighting Irish were ranked at number one. And the Outlaws have done it again. It came down to the wire somehow. But that is our first victory over a top five team in program history. Hunter Register, player of the game, five catches, well over 100 yards and a touchdown. Scott Lewis played really well. We started feeding him at the end. Derek Higgins with a huge play that would eventually end up being the difference in the game as that touchdown uh, really helped us get a great lead going. It really helped us set the pace, set the tone of the game. And that was that we were coming out guns blazing like outlaws do. Coming to take the W. And we did it. Ozark looking strong. Notre Dame will plummet. Believe me, they will plummet.
from number one. The Outlaws prove that they can hang with literally the best in the nation. Scott Lewis is pretty good. Hunter Register, great game. Great game. None of the other receivers really got going. Scott Lewis was good. No sacks allowed. And then defensively, Devin White was fantastic again. Deontay McKeon, Sandoval, Slaughter, both with sacks. And then an interception for Chris Outlaw and Derek Higgins. All in all, the team played fantastic today. And the offense w didn't even perform that well. Touchdown, of course, for Derek Higgins as well. Devin White is the difference on our defense right now. And I really do believe that. It was so, so lucky that we got him to transfer to Ozark State. And big play from Derek Higgins. He really does make the big plays when they matter. The interception at the end of, uh, what was it? It was against Louisiana Lafayette. Who was that game against where he had an interception to ice it? Or to give us a chance, even? I can't remember exactly who it was against. But either way... You know who it might have been against? It was against Arkansas State. Yeah. He had the interception at the end of the Arkansas State game. And that was just killer. But I'm going to stop talking about it. I am just overjoyed again to come out and beat the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. This time, it's an upset over the number one ranked team. Let's go, baby. Let's go, outlaws. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.